Hello there. On this video, I will show you how to create an auto tweet campaign and add promotions to your campaign that are going to be sent to your Twitter account. So we need to go to the auto tweet section of the website. You can see that I've got four campaigns in the, at the moment on my account, but you won't have anything in this section. So you need to create your first campaign. So just pop a name for your campaign into this box. And then if you want to add some notes, you can pop them into this box and then click on the create new campaign button. Once you've done that, you will have a campaign up here that you can click on. But before I go into mine, I want to explain a little bit about the way that you do this. You can see that I have four campaigns. Two of them are promoting uh, to people that are interested in losing weight and two of them to people that are interested in golf. Now this one is promoting ClickBank products with my affiliate link. So if people buy those products, I earn a commission. That's how I'm making money through this. And this one is exactly the same, but obviously it's targeting a different market. This one is just sending out to my Twitter account like tips and advice and affirmations to do with weight loss. I could also put in here links to interesting blog articles or links to videos on YouTube, just stuff that is valuable to my followers that they don't have to pay for. Now this is really important because it's this kind of stuff that your followers will like and share and this helps to grow your Twitter account. And for the golf one, um, I'm going to be putting in there some famous quotes to do with golf that my followers might find interesting and they might share them. So anything like that, quotes, affirmations, tips and tricks, links to interesting articles or videos, anything that is entertaining or provides value or fixes a problem in some way is really, really good for sharing to your Twitter account for free because people tend to like it and share it much, much more than they possibly would ever share an affiliate link to a product. So that really does have its place. So we're gonna do those ones first of all. So I'm gonna click on the link to enter the campaign details. And I'll just quickly show you through this page. First of all, the promotion frequency is currently set to do not promote. That's like the campaign is on pause. Now, once we've added some promotions to this campaign and we've connected it to our Twitter account, then we'll come back in here and we'll change this uh, to whatever you decide from this list and then it will start sending out our promotions. So if you change this to once a day and you add 10 promotions, it will send out a promotion every day for 10 days. Then it will go back to the beginning and it will start sending out those promotions again on a cycle forever. You can pause it at any time you want by changing it back to do not promote and of course campaign that you create. So watch that video and connect your campaign to your Twitter account. And at the bottom, if you want to change the name of your campaign or if you want to change your notes, you can enter new ones here and click on the update campaign details button. At the top, we have a button here to view our existing promotions. At the moment, we don't have any. So if I go back to the campaign, we also have a button for adding new promotions. So that's the one that we're going to be using. Now, this is where we enter our tweet. So I might do a tweet like, a healthy breakfast is a great way to start the day. Right, so I might do a tweet like that. And I could save that and send it out to my Twitter account. Then imagine if I added nine more tweets, so I've got 10 in total. The system would go through each one of those promotions, sending them out to my Twitter account, then it'd come back to this one, it'd start doing them again. But that means that every time it sends out this tweet, it's the same tweet, there is repetition. And Twitter do not like repetition. So there is a good chance uh, that Twitter would suspend my account. So to avoid that, you can see at the top here, I've said before you add your promotion, spin it using Spin Achieve so that our system can create a unique post for you each time your promotion is published. So if you click on the link to Spin Achieve, it will open up in a new tab on your browser and you will be able to take your tweet and you'll be able to do something to it called spinning, which is going to turn your tweet into a little bit of code that will create a random unique tweet for you each time this is published to Twitter. Now, this link here, for more information on spinning, click here. If you click that, you do stay on this page, but it just opens up this section so you can watch this video. So watch this video. It explains a lot more about what spinning is and how to use the software that I've just mentioned. The software, you just use it on the internet with your browser and it is completely free. 
It's very, very useful. So you'll need to do this for every promotion that you add. So I'm just gonna click here to hide that video. So this is our tweet. Uh, but it's static. So we want to turn that into some code. So I would take that and I would paste it into Spinner Chief, which is here. And then I'd click on the button here that says auto spin. That would produce some code, which I've already done, which is right here. You will need to double check this, but just watch that video and I'll explain exactly how you do everything. I'm going to copy this. And instead of putting in that static tweet that I typed out, I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to put that code in instead. So now, instead of a static tweet, I've got some code that automatically generates a unique random tweet each time it is published to Twitter. So when the system goes through all of my tweets and it comes back to the beginning and it does this one again, it's gonna be different. So there will be no repetition and our Twitter account will be safe. Now also we have the option to add some images. So at the moment it's set to no image. You can enter the URL of an existing image if you want to. So if you want to do that, click on this option and type in the address of the image into this box. Now you can't just link to other people's images on the internet. You're not allowed to do that, so don't do that. But if you have got uh, a website of, you, uh, of your own where you're hosting some images, maybe you've got some on your blog, uh, you can put the address of the image into this box. Or if you've got them like in a Dropbox or something like that. But what I will say, that address has to be the actual image itself. And normally that will end with .jpg or .gif. If the address that you get and copy into here ends with a slash or a .com or .net or .php or .html or anything like that, that is not an image. That is a web page where that image is probably hosted uh, where that image is located, but it not, it's not the actual image itself. So that would not work. The address must end in .jpg or .gif in order for this to work. Now, if you are using our gallery tool, which is up here, then you also have a third option where you can add images from your gallery. So I'm gonna click on that option. You will see that these are the images that I currently have in this gallery. Uh, you can tag them as well, which I have done. So I just wanna look at the images that I've tagged with breakfast, which is these ones. Now I need to choose images that I want to go out with this tweet. Now, if you're using the gallery, you're not limited to just using one image. I can select several images. So I'm gonna select all of these. And then when that tweet is sent out, it will choose at random one of the images that I've selected to accompany the tweet. And then the next time this same tweet goes out to my Twitter account, it will choose another one at random. So now we're gonna add that promotion and we'll see it's in here now. So we're going to view it and you'll see uh, how that code works. So to begin with, it tells you that these are the images that you have selected and it will randomly choose one of those each time this tweet is published. And what we've got here is a sample of a tweet that might go out to your Twitter account based on the code that we created at SpinAchieve. So the first example is a healthy and balanced morning meal is a great way to begin your day. So if we, we press this link here that says spin, it's gonna create another example. These are always random, and every time it publishes it to your Twitter account, it's also always going to be random. So eating a healthy and nutritious meal for breakfast is the very best way to begin each day. Enjoying a nutritious and healthy morning meal is the best way to start every day. Eating a nutritious and healthy breakfast is a great way to start each day. Having a healthy morning meal is a perfect way to start your day. So you can see, I'm not gonna continue reading them out, but you can see how every time it comes back to this same tweet, just because we spun it, which only takes a few moments to do, now this tweet is always unique. So if we go back to our promotions, we only have one at the moment, but we would click on the add new promotion and we'd continue doing that same process until maybe we've got, uh, say if I put 30 in here and I had them going out two a day, so every about 12 hours, then that means that after 15 days, it will go back to the beginning. But when it goes back to the beginning, it's not repeating the same affirmation. It's always generating a unique random one from the code. So you can see how once we've done this, this continues forever. 
So once you've set it up, it carries on forever. So to get some more of these, whatever subject you are promoting to, whatever market you're promoting to, pop over to Google and just search for tips on whatever that subject is. So I might say weight loss tips. So I'd search for that and I would find weight loss tips on the internet, like 26 weight loss tips, uh, 85 best weight loss tips. I'd just go in and I would just copy and paste those into like um, a, a notepad or a WordPad document or something like that. And then I would rewrite them in my own words. I don't just wanna steal other people's stuff. It doesn't take long, just, just copy them, but then rewrite them in your own words and then take your versions of them pop them into Spin Achieve, spin them, and then add those as new promotions to your campaign. So as well as uh, tips that you can include like this, and you will find thousands of these for every subject on the internet. So I might say golf swing, whoops, golf swing tips. It's the same thing. You'll find thousands and thousands of tips on the internet for any subject that you can think of. Uh, another great thing might be, um, weight loss affirmations. I haven't spelt it correctly, but it will sort that out for me, I think. Right, so weight loss affirmations, you will find thousands of these. Just copy and paste them, rewrite them in your own words, spin them and add them as promotions to your campaign. And the other thing that works well as well is quotes. Now with quotes, Normally, you would uh, you would have the specific quote because it's what someone said. But what I'd recommend you do with the quotes is, I mean, we have 65 weight loss motivational quotes here. Just take the quote, paraphrase it. So do it in your own words, then spin it. So don't bother saying who said it or putting it in quotation marks or anything like that. Just kind of use the original quote as inspiration for your own because you don't want to keep uh, retweeting the same quote over and over. But if you paraphrase it and then spin it, it's just going to be a very useful quote based on the one that you got from the internet. And as I say, you will find stuff like this for any subject you can imagine. And all of this stuff gets shares and likes really, really well on Twitter, especially when it's accompanied by a very attractive image. So you wanna be using those images from the gallery option in there as well. And if you are using our gallery, then of course you can, you can add as many images as you like and just click on those so that it chooses one of the ones you've selected at random. So now that we've done that, let's get back over to our campaigns. And I want to talk about the ClickBank product. So I'm going to pop into this one and we are going to do the same as before. We'll add a new promotion, but this time this is going to be uh, a tweet that has the opportunity to make money for us. So we want to be popping it into here, but we're going to do something very similar to what we did before. Now, I am going to be promoting products from the ClickBank Marketplace. There is another video in the training section of the website that talks about uh, promoting affiliate products, how to create your affiliate account and all those kind of things. So if you need to go through that video, then please do that first. Uh, but I'm gonna show you here how to get your links. So I'm gonna go to ClickBank, I'll go to the Marketplace, and we're going to go to the category which is about uh, health and fitness and weight loss, which is in here. Now I'm gonna to go to the diet supplements first of all, because I want to show you something in here. Sometimes when you try and promote one of these products, it comes up with this, saying that you need to get permission before you can promote this product. Uh, I've noticed that even when you don't ask for permission, uh, a couple of days later, you tend to get an email from ClickBank saying you're now allowed to promote that product. So I would recommend that you go into the category that represents your market and just click on all the buttons so that it triggers that process of, of getting you, um, it, it triggers the process of you being allowed to promote that product. Now, I don't know if it's an automatic process or whether it's because I've had a ClickBank account for a very, very long time that I automatically get the confirmation. Uh, but that is something that I want you to be aware of. Whereas normally, in most of the categories on ClickBank, uh, it's a little bit different. So if I go to diets and weight loss rather than diet supplements, you'll see that it doesn't do that. Uh, if we click on the button, it doesn't say, oh, this one it does. <laughs> Very bad example for me to jump straight into. Let's get to the top. So if I click on one of these, you'll say this time, we don't need permission to promote this product. We just pop our ClickBank nickname in there, which for me is this. In here, you can put a tracking code like you might put 
Twitter, for instance, and you generate your link and then you click on this button to copy it. And that is the link that you need to promote that product so that ClickBank know you recommended the, uh, the product and they'll give you a commission. So ClickBank take the money off the customer, they split it and they give you your commission directly. So what I want to recommend that you do, go into the ClickBank marketplace for the products that you uh, want to promote. Say I'm promoting to a weight loss industry. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to look at one of the products. So this is the way I work. So I want you to copy this. So I'm going to look at this product, Eat, Sleep, Burn. First thing I'm going to do is click on the promote button and make sure that I can make my link today. So I can. I can promote this product without needing permission. So that's great. What I do next is I click on this link to look at the actual product itself. This will show me the sales page. Now you'll see that there is an affiliate tools page where they will probably give us things like emails that we can use or articles and things like that. Now for these tweets, rather than doing that, what I do is I go straight to the actual sales page itself. And when the sales page loads up, if there's a video, just let me pause it so it doesn't speak over me. I look for headings and subheadings and bullet points and things like that that I think would make good tweets for this product. So normally, uh, if you have the option here where it says, if there's a video and it says prefer to read, click on that, it'll be a lot more useful to you. Quite a lot of the websites do do this. Some of them, if there's a video and you try and leave the website, it shows you like the text version. Some of them only have the video, some of them only have the text, but I find the text a lot more useful. So have a look through here. And what we're looking for is anything that's gonna be a good tweet. And normally, that is stuff that's in a bullet point or it's stuff that is a heading or a subheading. So scroll through the page and just grab whatever you think is gonna be uh, useful to use as a tweet. Right, specifically, if you are 40 or older, then you are probably getting up to 70% less of one precise form of deep sleep. This is critical to losing weight and protecting your health. That's quite good as a tweet. Now, Twitter used to be quite limited on how many characters you could put, but they doubled that not too long ago. So now big long things like this actually work. So I could take that as my tweet. So I'll copy that. Sometimes uh, clicking copy the way I just did doesn't work on some websites. Some websites protect themselves from allowing you to do that. Uh, but more often than not, the, the keyboard shortcut, like on a Mac, that is Command and C to copy, Command and V to paste, or on a Windows computer, it is Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste. So sometimes the shortcut works better than actually using the mouse option. So I've got that on my clipboard now. What I would now do with that is I'd go to Spinner Chief, Let's just get rid of this. I would paste that in, then I would spin it. Now for this, for this video, I'm just gonna click the auto spin button and I'm gonna go with the default settings. You will wanna check that. Now do watch the, uh, the, the video I provided for you on spinning and I'll explain exactly how you do all of this. But once you've checked it, made sure it's all good, you would take that, you would copy it. I'm just using my keyboard shortcut again. And then that would be your tweet for your promotion. Now we need to put the link in. So I'm going to put a space in because we don't want the link to be touching this text, otherwise the link wouldn't work. But now we go back over to our marketplace. That was this product, Eat, Sleep, Burn. We click on Promote and we're going to make our link. So you pop in your nickname here and you put a tracking uh, code in here if you want to. You click on this button to get your link and it copies it to your clipboard. And now we go back over to our promotion and we paste directly into the same box an image of your own into there or you can use one from the gallery. Now, I would recommend using an image from the gallery but taking images from that website. Now, usually you can either take an image from this site or you can use an image that would be useful from this product from the place where I usually recommend that you get images from. And when you watch the tutorial videos on the gallery section of this website, I will show you exactly how I do all of that. 
So add some images to your gallery that will go very well with this product. The more attractive those images are, the more likely people are to share that tweet. Uh, put a few in there so that you can select a few of those images and you can use those images to go out with this tweet, randomly choosing one of those images each time it goes out. So, at the moment, I don't really have an image that is going to be suitable for this particular tweet, but I could very easily add some to my gallery and then they'd be in here and I'd just click on them like this and just choose as many as I like. So I'm not going to add an image at this stage. So I'm going to put no image and I'm just going to add my promotion. Now you want to view it and just read it through and just make sure that it always reads fine when you click on the spin button. Because even though you check things when you're doing the spinning, sometimes uh, you do make mistakes. We're all human. So just click through spin a few times and double check. And if you need to make some changes, then you can just go back to edit and you can tweak it and edit it so it reads correctly. So that is the way that I add uh, promotions that include affiliate links for Clickbank products and what I would do here is I would just go through the marketplace I would go through every single category that is relevant to my target market which in this case is people that want to lose weight and I would just go through every single product doing what I've just done uh, just taking a heading or a subheading or a bullet point turning that into a tweet you might have to tweak it a little bit, or you can just make up your own. Putting that in Spinner Chief, spinning it, pasting it in as a new promotion, adding images to it using the gallery. And if you want to know how to do that, please do watch the tutorial videos on the gallery section of this website. And then I would just go through and add them all. Now, I would recommend that you go through the products doing this, but have a look at each product. So I'm going to look at this one, for instance. And you might find on their sales page, there are lots and lots of things. See, again, look, prefer to read, click here. That's so useful. So you might find that on their sales page, there are lots of things that would make really good tweets. Uh, usually, as I say, these are going to be uh, bullet points, headings or subheadings or something like that. So you just copy that and you use it for a new promotion. But you you might have a look at this product and say, well, that would work well. And then you'd scroll down a bit and you might say, this might work well, or this would work well. In fact, things with numbers tend to work incredibly well. Uh, so look at this one. In just two months, uh, he lost 27 pounds and reduced his body fat from 33.4 to 24.9%. Uh, then you could simply have find out how a colon and then the link. That's a great tweet. It's got some specific numbers in there. People would click on that. So you, you could find lots and lots of things in here that would make great tweets that you can, have as, as, uh, you can add as promotions to your campaign. So you could have uh, 20 or more that are all targeting the same product uh, just by going through their website and just copy and pasting stuff that they've already done for you and then spinning it. So I'd recommend that if you do do that, don't put all 20 of those together one after another. Otherwise, you'd be sending out 20 uh, tweets to Twitter that one after another would be all promoting the same product. I would say mix them up a little bit. Uh, so do one for one product, then go to another product, then another, and then maybe go back to the first product and find another tweet that's going to be great and add that into the system. Once you've done that, you will have inside your, um, if I go back to my promotions, you will have inside here lots and lots and lots of uh, promotions that are going to go out to your ClickBank, uh, to your ClickBank, to your Twitter followers that are all promoting ClickBank products that are solving the problems that your followers have, which is fantastic. And if they buy any of those products, they solve their problems and you make money. Now, all of the products that are sold through ClickBank, they do come with a 100% money back guarantee. So it's not like you're tricking people and they're going to be losing their money. If the product doesn't work for them, they can simply get a refund. Uh, but the products that are sold through ClickBank are normally really quite good. So it's unusual that people do get refunds. Normally, they're very, very happy to buy those products. And then once they've bought one, they tend to buy more. Uh, so that works incredibly well for you. So once you've added lots and lots of content into here, go back to your campaign details and then you want to connect this campaign where it says the campaign RSS feed, connect it to your Twitter account by watching the video that teaches you how to do that. 
and then change your promotion frequency. So I would say affiliate links, you don't want going out quite so often as the pure value content. So I would say the pure value content, send out two or three pieces of that per day. So maybe every six, uh, maybe every six, 10 or 12 hours. But the affiliate links, I would say only do that maybe once every two days or once a day or maybe even once every three days. So don't put too much. It's going to be a little bit spammy if there's too much. So I'm going to set mine to every two days and then I would say update campaign frequency and that's all ready to go. Of course, we do need to connect it to Twitter. So make sure you do that. Same promotion every two days. Even though we're using the spinning and it looks different every time, I still want a lot more in there. I don't want to keep promoting the same product. So the way I would do this, I'd just go into ClickBank. I'd find every single product that I think my followers might enjoy or it might solve a problem that they've got. And I would do this process we've just gone through for every single one of those. And I would create several promotions for each product. And as I go back to my campaigns, I do exactly the same thing uh, for products that are targeting people to do with golf or any other market that I am promoting products to. So that is how you create your auto tweak campaigns. That is how you add promotions to your auto tweet campaigns that are different every single time they're published to your Twitter account by using the spinning. But as I say, do watch that spinning video. The, the spinning video, you can access it in the training, uh, but also when you go into your campaign and you go on add new promotion, uh, as I showed you before, if you just click on this, it's going to show you the, the video right here if you need a refresher. And if you want to hide it, you can click there to hide it. Now to get over to Spinner Chief, you just click on this link here and that will go to the software that you can use online for free to do that spinning for you. So there we go. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. You can see the value of spinning and also the value of setting up campaigns uh, that continue forever. They get to the end, they go back to the beginning and they carry on forever promoting products that make you money to your Twitter followers and also sending out lots and lots of valuable content to your Twitter followers so that your following grows over time. So I'll see you in the rest of the training videos. You take care and have an awesome day. Bye bye.